What happens when you take the sidecar cocktail and you add rum? Let's get between the sheets and find out. My name is Carl. And I'm Riley. And welcome to Alchemix Bar, where we will teach you how to improve your home bartending skills. I have a very important question for you. What's that? Do you want to get between the sheets? So we've never had this cocktail before. Correct. And I thought it would be great since we just did the video on the sidecar to do a variation of it. And I think this might be the most popular variation of a sidecar that I could find. Interesting. No sugar rim and add rum, which is an unusual variation that I can remember. Because usually you keep sugar in there and you trade one thing out for another. Now you're minusing one thing and adding another spirit. So it'll be very interesting to see how this works. Yeah, the sweetness is going to be in question. In question a lot. But, I mean, at the end of the day, this cocktail's been around for, I would say, I think if I read correctly, almost 100 years. I mean, a lot of cocktails have been around for that long. It doesn't mean they're good. That's true. But would people still be making it if it wasn't good? Or would they be adding, you know what I'm saying? Like, there would be a change evolution to it. Yeah. So, I don't know. It'd be interesting to find out. I think that's what we should do now. What do you think? Let's go. Excited to try this very boozy cocktail. What about you? A little nervous. It's kind of scary in a good way. Yeah, because I like a sidecar. Yeah. But there's more alcohol and no sugar on the rim, so it makes me nervous. Yeah. This is a drink you go on a first date with. Absolutely not. <laughs> Whoa. Mm -mm. Nope. Don't like it. Nope. So there's probably a reason why they use the triple second, not that dry cure sound. I don't think it would matter. I uh, it would it would help a little bit, but woo, this is way dry. This, this will is... get you between the sheets for show. Sure. <laughs> yeah. How you do it? Did it hurt? When you fell from heaven? Give a nickel. Because my daddy told me to call when I fell in love. <laughs> on a serious note, this is a drink on itself. Yeah, it's boozy. I don't know if I like the rum in it. Yeah, I don't know. I would be interested to try this with triple sec just to see what it does. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to try it with triple sec and see what it does. But. I don't know. I I just think rum is not the right flavor. I can see that for sure. Um, but yeah. Maybe with whiskey. Ooh, now you're talking like a sweeter language. whiskey. Like maybe a bullet or a whole trace or something or like that. Or even just like a larceny. Yeah. Something subtle enough to like not overpower everything Even like else. a Dickel probably would do Ooh, yeah. I think Dickel would be super good with this. Yeah. I mean, this is not a bad cocktail by any means. Like Correct. this is an acceptable cocktail just to, like, you know, like. For oh. people who would like it, it is great. Right. Uh, it's not my style. It's a little bit too boozy for me. Yeah. But I can understand. It is well balanced. Yeah. Yeah, surprisingly. Yeah. So if you want to check out the video on when we made the sidecar, we just published it a couple days ago. Check it out over here. Uh, let us know in the comments if you've ever had it between the sheets or how easy it is for you to get between the sheets. Or if you think Carl's stupid. Cheers. Cheers. Think.